Now, as promised, I've got a story for you now on a couple of basketballers from Australia, Ailey Simpson and Jessica Kaufman. They were picked up out of the, uh, the Bayside competition in Melbourne the set from the Sandringham Sabres to go over and play college ball in the United States for St Francis College in Brooklyn. They're back for a bit of a break in the off-season and uh, with them is a couple of their teammates from the United States. I caught up with them and uh, watched them have a bit of a shoot around and have a chat to them about their experience. Of course, a couple of hundred at least uh, Australian young athletes go and get picked up and they do their schooling, their four years in the United States college system and they have a ball. So uh, here's that story on the St Francis Terriers back for a brief stay in Australia. How did you get from Sandringham Sabres over to playing for St Francis? During year 12 I uh, played for Sandringham Sabres and my coach Simon Mitchell actually made some highlight reels for me that then went on to YouTube and we emailed those links out to several different coaches over the um, over in America. <laughs> then from there that's when the recruiting process began. I uh, get a few phone calls asking to send more game tape and it really just went from there. Did St Francis like the package deal that you were offering? It seems a bit of an unusual case. <laughs> yeah, they did actually. I think uh, Coach told me one time he was watching Ailey's and then kind of saw me in the background like, oh, who was that girl? And then uh, and my, my film was sent to him and when he watched that he really was interested in both of us and I think the chemistry uh, we had together from playing with each other for so long. We're just so used to each other now. It's been about five years, five, six years since we've been playing with each other and it just, it just works so well together. Jessica Kaufman on a reverse layup. She's got six points. It made it easier having Jessica there, having, having a friend? Definitely. It made the transition so much easier. We have roommates, we play together. Uh, we're pretty much best friends on and off the court, so it's made life extremely easy for us. Kaufman for St. Francis Simpson gets that one to go. What's your New York experience like there? Oh, it's amazing. Uh, it's the, the game itself is, is quite different over there. The college has um, some different rules, um, and then college life obviously is just completely different to, to back home. The city is amazing, and there's always something to do. <laughs> Do they like Australians over there for a particular reason? Yeah, they love our hard work. Uh, they say Australians put in a lot of work. Um, we train really hard, we practice really hard, and we're quite rough on the court as well. I've heard that about AIS students going across and then, you know living away from home, so they had that experience. But that's not your experience. So where do you think that that um, hard work and discipline and, and the roughness comes from? I think that's just being an Aussie. Uh, we're brought up, you know, playing sport in your backyard at school, uh, through clubs, through schools, and it's obviously very competitive. And I think we've just taken that over with us. Is there any downside for young athletes going over and, and hopping into the college system in the US? Um, one thing I'd probably be a little weary of is uh, the, the training schedule is very different. I'd, probably hadn't trained quite that intensely. Uh, it's, it's quite different over there and a lot of us, I feel like some Australian athletes get injured. Both Daly and I had to have surgery last year. Seven points, 29-22. The key for Benedetti is good. It's really cool. I mean, I've always thought I'll show you was such a cool place and being able to have them on my team and actually becoming friends was something really cool and different. Yeah, yeah we love our Australians. Um, it's pretty funny because when they came over, everyone thought, they're be, gonna become Americanized and instead they've like turned the team like Australian like we all end up using their words their phrases and it's just pretty funny how it all worked out like what um, well we all, like we'll say like heaps and like <laughs> massive and like just all saying? these like words that we don't normally say yeah. but we've just picked them up and use them in conversation now like the rubbish bin and starting to call these jumpers and yeah. it's just <laughs> Uh, bringing them over here, showing them around Australia is fun, showing them the Australian way of living. I go over there, I go to their house on our breaks, I see the Connecticut, the Ohio, all the different states in America and how they live, so it's a great experience. 
Another three from Jesse Kaufman is good. And you're studying as well, so it's not just basketball, but it's everything. Oh yeah, they, you know, they're always telling us you're a student athlete, student comes first, so obviously um, we have to keep a certain grade, grade point average during school, um, and then you get your 40 year degree out of that. So, you know, there, there are a lot of options really, so you can go on post-grad um, study or go and try to play um, professional basketball. <laughs> yeah, which is what you want to do. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> and now Katie Fox runs it up. Five. Yeah, you never think the sport would take you so many places when you start playing and you're like, you know, five, six years old and then all of a sudden you're 20 years old and you're in a whole other country. It's just, it's really great what it's done for us. And your impressions of Australia, has it, uh, it been different to what you'd imagine? I thought there'd be kangaroos everywhere. <laughs> so yeah, that's I, not true. Don't yeah. make a sound like it. <laughs> but I, I made sure we saw some in the wild, and it's, it was definitely cool. But I'll show you is pretty much what I thought. So yeah, they they prepped us pretty well for it. So we love it. Yeah. You didn't really think there's kangaroos everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> She did. <laughs> That's and just lovely. Just picking up on what uh, Jessica Kaufman was saying, she wants to go pro. Um, mm -hmm. But, of course, if that doesn't happen, the, going over there means you get a four-year free college education. Yep. And she's uh, got a major in psychology and uh, Ailey's got a, a major in communication, so they walk away with a, a great um, degree. And that college there, St Francis, just ranked number two in the all all of the uh, the women's programs across the United States for a grade point average. Oh, really? So yeah. a, above some of the Ivy League schools and, and everything. So That's amazing. A great way to get an education. What's also amazing is to hear at such a young age they've already both had surgery. Yes. Yeah. Crikey. Yeah. It's rough. Very, very grueling. They're, they're really, really pushing them. No, that was um, that was just beautiful. Great yeah. to see you all well done. No, it was good. Um, we don't hear that much about um, all of the athletes. We hear about the, the top one percent. So many of them are going. Yeah, it must be hard for the parents to to put them on the plane and say just goodbye. Just what I was yeah. thinking. Well, there's uh, uh, someone who's associated with this program who's done just that, who sent her son off overseas, yep. who's a stellar basketballer. You've, you've spoken about That's him before. That's right. Yep. And yep. Um, and uh, I know it's very, very hard for them. So. At least you know they're going and improving their lives. Yep. Well, hopefully there'll be heaps more. Heaps and yeah, messy. Be massive. Spreading the Australian lingo over there, it's not such a bad thing. <laughs> the new Aussie slang. Getting your own back. <laughs> Thanks very much, Paul. Thanks.